home again. Of course, Blobby is no stranger to sporting activity, but Garth Crooks is to the offside rule. Hello, Mr. Blobby. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Yeah, it is a beautiful day here in Blobby land. Blobby, 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 Blobby. What am I doing? I'm playing football. Do you know how to play football? Blobby, Blobby. Would you like to learn how to play, Mr. Blobby? Oh, Blobby! Blobby, 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 Blobby! 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 Ooh, Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! <laughs> OK. Can you kick the ball, Mr. Blobby? Blobby, 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 Blobby. You are a silly Billy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you made a mess of that oh, ball, please. Mr. Blobby. <laughs> oh, Blobby. We don't have two goals, Barry. Sorry. Sorry. Here goes. Oh, what? Blobby. Can we untangle okay. him? Come on, boys, quickly again. Oh. We're in. We're in an overrun now. He's so, he's I love, you know, it's great, the energy. He's energy. He's but, <laughs> but, you're wrecking the set. So. <laughs> of course, in a real game of football, we'd have teams. Blubby. Do you know how many boys and girls there are in a football team, Mr. Blobby? Blobby, Blobby. Blobby. I think we need the of course. I think you just have to come in. That's right. Eleven. Carry on. Blobby dribbling through. Blubby, blubby, blubby. Blubby, blubby. Hold it. Ah. Blubby. <laughs> nice one, Barry. Boys. But remember, when you're dribbling, an opposing player might tackle you. Tackling means taking the ball away from you, but without committing a foul. I'm going to tackle you. Ready, Mr. Blobby? Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Oh. 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 You certainly know about playing football oh. now. Oh, Blobby. Oh, Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Oh. 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 What a tackle. That was terrible. Where's the red card? Where's the ref? Oh, no, I can't believe it. Now, did you catch Mr. Blobby's unforgettable contribution to the World Cup? That's right, he was singing the song. But why wasn't he on the pitch? Well, in the commentary box, we were all asking the question, just how good a footballer is Mr. Blobby? <laughs> 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 
But what can you say about Mr. Blobby, or as the fans call him, Blozzer? I mean, every generation has its football heroes. Blobby Charlton, Blobby Moore, Blobby Styles. But the big name for the 90s has got to be Mr. Blobby. I tell you this, I wouldn't like to be the goalkeeper standing between the goalposts when Mr. Blobby's thundering towards you. Come to that, I wouldn't even like to be the goalposts. There's lots of talk these days about who's the better player, Gazza or Blozza. Well, for my money, there's only one winner in that argument, and that's football. Anyway, you can't really make a comparison. After all, Mr. Blobby's thinner than Gazza, isn't he? And you can understand what he's saying. Blobby, 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 Blobby! I've never seen anything like Mr. Blobby. Last time I saw him play against the Bros Under 15 Reserves B team, he's taken a high pass in the centre, he's nodded it down to his toes, then he's totally wrong footed the keeper and been facing an open goal. Yet he's only gone off to the dressing room for a cup of tea. So many well known British footballers have ended up here in Italy, and at the moment, Mr. Blobby's the one catching the interest. He's so difficult to tackle, the defenders just seem to bounce off him. I've never quite seen the attraction of Mr. Blobby. He is average in midfield, not one of the game's great defenders, and you wouldn't want him up front. If I was him, I'd stick to the ballet dancing. You know, it's a funny old game, football, and there's not many players around these days with such an encyclopedic knowledge of the game as Mr. Blobby. His tactical use of the rules and his analytical prowess are second to none, except perhaps Garth Crooks. When I'm nearer the goal line than the outfield player, not including the goalkeeper. Garth never did understand the offside rule. My new series starting next season called Blobs and Greavesy is going to be a real eye-opener. Mr Blobby is one of the few footballers around who really knows one end of the pitch from the other. And believe me, that can be an advantage. <laughs>